Hey y'all, my name is Anna, welcome to my channel, and today is my fifth update for my Back to Broadway project pan. Now, if you don't already know, I created this project pan by myself. Um, basically, you choose however many items you want, and you connect them to a musical, and then once you finish one or reach a goal on one, you roll something new in and connect it to a completely different musical. Um, and I made this because I want to talk about makeup and musicals, and um, here's my excuse. So let's get straight to the products. My first one I rolled in last month, and it is the e.l.f. Natural Glow Lotion. And I will put in pictures of what it looked like last month compared to this month. Um, it still has a bunch of air in it, so I can't like squeeze it and like have that shown. Um, so it's just kind of like lowering in here, but not consistently, so it's hard to make a mark because it's kind of just like... And I don't know how. <laughs> so yeah, I'm just gonna do pictures, but... I used this 16 times, which is not much, but I didn't wear makeup as much as normal. Um, just haven't been totally motivated to wear that much makeup in this past month. Um, I've been wearing it when I want to and not when I don't want to. So I'm, yeah. I wear this basically every time I wear makeup, unless if it's just like a wear some concealer and lip gloss and leave. But if I'm doing like a full out makeup look, then yeah, I'll use this. And I like it. I don't see if it does that much, but I also don't use foundation. So like, I don't know if primers are necessary if you don't use foundation. Um, but I put it on the perimeter of my face. I don't know how much glow it actually brings, but you know, it doesn't dry out my skin. Oh my goodness. Totally forgot to mention, this is for the musical The Hunchback of Notre Dame. Just, I explained the connection in the previous update. Now for the musical Something Rotten, I have the Wet n Wild Matte Face Primer. Um, yeah. And I used it 15 times. Unless if my markings are wrong, but um, last time my mark is right above the bunny ears. Now they're like on the bunny ears, so I don't... It really didn't move that much um, this past month, but I've been using it consistently. I don't know how accurate my mark was last month because I can't see through the packaging. I'm just kind of basing it off of how far I can kind of do this thing. So there's definitely not that much left. I'm thinking it might be used up in the next two months. Maybe. It won't be done by next month, I don't believe, unless if it like has a ton of air in it or something. But yeah, using it almost every time. I don't think I super love it just because I have drier skin. I don't need it to be matte, but I use it just on the center of my face because I find that that gets slightly oilier than the rest. Um, I'm not the person to ask if this works, and I also don't support Wet n Wild because they're not cruelty free. So Now for the musical Heathers, I have this freaking bronzer in this tiny little lush sample container. Um, last time I told you how it kept on breaking and I just gave up and now it's a loose bronzer, however it's kind of difficult to show progress now. My goal originally was a hit pan and now it's just to use it up because I'm done with... I'll put up pictures, um, but as you can see there's not a ton in there but it's not going away anytime soon, I'm assuming. The way I use it is I shake this up and then I use whatever like sticks to the lid on my brush and I find that it's a lot easier because I don't want too much just because I'm really fair and um, it can look muddy if I wear too much of anything dark. So I used this bronzer 14 times. For the musical Miss Saigon, I have the NYX brow powder as well as a Frank and eyeshadow I'm mixing with it. This is the brow powder and this is just something I'm using them both simultaneously because this is a bit too gray for my liking and this is way too warm. So. Um, as you can see, I've definitely expanded the pan a ton, which is exciting. I don't think I'll use it up by next time. A part of me wants to press them together, like repress them into one pan, just mix them together. But the other part of me is too lazy to do that, so unless it starts like um, crumbling and making a mess, uh, then I won't repress it probably. I'll just dip my brush into both. And I use this brow powder. 15 times in this past month. Now for the musicals Newsies and Dogfight, I'm going to talk about these products together because I use them together. Um, this is a Franken-Lip product that I um, put into this container 
once it was empty. And as you can see, I do not have much left. It looks like I have more than I do. Um, I took out the stopper because it was easier to access the product, but there's not really much on this wand. And if you look in there, all of it in the center is like completely gone. So it's just on the sides. So it's not even, if you were to level it out, it'd probably be half of this. Like there's really not much left. Do I think I'll be able to use it up by next month? No, but I think I will definitely be close. Like I'm thinking in the next two months, this will be done. Um, this is a bit too bright for every day for me, but if I put this on top, then it's really a perfect nude and you can't really see progress that well. I don't know if you can see. Um, first off, the wand doesn't have much. Usually it has like a big pool of just a ton of product and now um, it's definitely getting emptier. I don't know if you can see, but there's like, it, most of the product is just down here. So it's in the same boat. I think in the next two months I might be able to. I kind of want to reach a goal to like take out the stopper, but I don't know. I don't want to take out the stopper until I really need to because that can be a mess. So um, yeah, this is definitely getting really, really low. And so excited about that, but I don't think it'll be gone next month. I used both of these good products nine times in this past month. Now my last product is for the musical The Band's Visit and it is the Burt's Bees Tinted Lip Balm in the shade Hibiscus. And um, I've used this eight times in the past month, but it's very, very close to being done, oh gosh. Um, I just definitely maimed it. I didn't feel like rolling it down because like it's one of the lip balms that like don't roll down easily unless you like pu push them and I was just like, I'll just leave it like this, but that's all that's left. And some of that's like the plastic, not much of it, but yeah, it's really, really low. I can show you my progress line. So as you can see, I am super close. I used up half of what I had last time, so I definitely can finish it by next month if I don't forget to use it. So um, probably use it at least eight days, I'm thinking. Um, so yeah, that is the only product out of all of these I think I can finish by next month, unless if like something miraculous happens. But yeah, not a super exciting month, but it's kind of just one of those months where it's just building up to things being used up and it, you know, that's fine. I haven't been wearing a ton of makeup, so I can't expect too much. So I don't have anything rolling in. So I guess that's just the end of the video. Um, I hope that you enjoyed. Uh, let me know if you are also doing a project pan. I would love to see if you're making videos or something. And I hope that you have an amazing day. Bye.